The Partnership for Increasing the Impact of Vector Control, PVEC, wish to congratulate the Research Capacity Development Fellows on their recent appointments into permanent positions at the ministry or the university. We wanted to take an opportunity to briefly interview them on their personal journey in PVEC and how specifically the capacity strengthening work of the project has supported their research and career growth. What specifically attracted you to PVEC that you did not see in other fellowships or a postdoc position? Firstly, it was with the title of the, the fellowship. <laughs> because the fellowship was named as Research Career Development Fellowship. That was very precise. And in, only in the title you can find what you want in the fellowship. Before joining, what did you expect from the PVEC fellowship? What were your expectations? for both research and then policy, policy engagement. So my expect, expectation was to have to, uh, a lot of training to develop my own career, to have the opportunity to present the result that I got on with my research to at the national level. And PIVA gave me this opportunity because they have uh, an institution in each country of PIVEC that we call TVCAG. And we, with the TVCAG, I have the opportunity to present. And what types of support and opportunities has the PIVEC program provided you? What support and opportunities has the program provided you in both research and then policy engagement? The training on the specific topic. Okay. Uh, we also have a collaboration because I think this project could help me to collaborate with some other uh, researchers. So has yeah. the support uh, or fellowship improved your capacity and if so, in what ways and how? I've been thinking about the use, uh, yes, let's say the use of the outputs that I'll be about to generate. That's the very first thing. That I'm, that's even the most important to me now. So in what ways did the PVEC Capacity Strengthening Program help you obtain this new position that you are moving on to? I mentioned in my curriculum that I, I am a fellow, a postdoc position of the PVEC and what. So the same fact to be a postdoc of LSTM, of LSTM, one of the first school of vector biology in the world, was a very uh, uh, was an advantage for me. Um, so how has the PVEC Fellowship prepared you for this new position? Yeah. The PVEC Fellowship has improved the research that I, I, I am because here uh, in our university is here in Cameroon it's not only the, the, the position the university position is not only a lecturer position but it's a lecturer researcher position so lecturers are called to do the research. The next question is, are there lessons, are there any lessons from PVEC, your PVEC experience, that you think future research capacity programs need to address? I think we, we can try to increase the number of years of the fellowship position. Yes, yes. For example, some, uh, some training, like uh, AFIDEF, and on, on policy engagement, because you know, uh, we, we didn't do it since I started my some training, some, 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 uh, another, so another postdoc. It will be good to, 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 to train on it. Also, to train on, to train to mentor the student because it's always, not always easy to, do, to, to mentor the student. How do you see yourself in 10, 20 years time in terms of what career will you be in and what, what legacy do you want to leave, whether in research, in policy? So in the next 10 to 30 years, can you tell me what you want to be? So in 10 years, I hope to be appointed as a full 
lecture at the university or uh, i also up to to lead my own research group with a strong uh, with a strong collaborations with other research group 